Introduction student athletes getting paid for participating in college sporting programs is a hot topic in, a, in the media. This is an issue due to an due to an increased cost of college and the amount of hours put in by students uh, to their respective sport. <clears throat> I will begin on case by replying to my opponent's points. Turn to my opponent's contention one. He says that students will uh, Scott, students would have to get paid enough money for them to be able to support themselves. With this basic uh, with Scott with basic needs. To this I have one response. My response is that scholarships and financial aid already cover all the students' basic needs. Now, turn to subpoint A of my opponents, which says that students do not have enough time to have a job. <clears throat> to this, I have two responses. First, according to a study by Business Insider on January 27, 2015, college athletes do indeed have some time <clears throat> to work if they wanted. If they wanted, college athletes average 20 hours a week on practice. Some, uh, was got second. Some, uh, was got second. Most jobs do indeed have flexible scheduling. Now, moving on to subpoint B, my opponent says that college coaches make lots of money. To this, I have one. To this, I have two responses. First, college coaches, uh, let's go, do not make millions. The statement is only true to the bigger, more expensive colleges and universities, according to sports management degrees in, I was got in 2020. <clears throat> college coaches' payments depend on their win and loss ratios. <clears throat> so coaches make more, uh, more incentive to make sure that their team wins. Second, not all college coaches make a lot of money. According to Tron in uh, what's called 2020, coaches earn about 42742 to 93596 depending on the sport and, again, their win-to-loss ratio. Coaches only make an average salary for college staff. Now, to my opponent's contention, too. Amateurism is not an answer for an Oscar. Uh, not answer. The NCAA says student athletes should not be motivated by finance, uh, was called, by finance and their sports, but by their college benefits. To this, I have one response. College, uh, uh, college is not a stepping stone for uh, was called, a stepping stone into um, into business sports, but further your but to further education. Now, by paying athletes, you're giving motivation for them to take advantage of your sports program instead of focusing on their education. Now to my uh, now to my t- opponent's sub point B, NCAA uh, gets away with the students getting paid because they uh Scott, they want the revenue. To this, I have one response. According to N- uh, according to CNBC on October 28, twenty nineteen, the NCAA will allow athletes to profit from their names, image, and likeness, meaning they can get paid for their accomplishments uh, supporting them from the com- from the companies supporting them. Now turn to my opponent's plan. This will have uh, this uh, was called that the state will pass a law that prevents college athletes from getting paid and acquiring agents. To this over uh, to this overall, I have one response. According to my response to sub point B for contention two, the NCAA already allows the payments for the athletes through uh, the bands uh, through uh, what's called band, brand sponsorships as well as allowing them to hire agents, according to the insider Higher Ed on August 9th, 2018. Now I will begin my case by giving my disadvantage. <clears throat> my subpoint A, the school will have financial issues stre- uh, st- so stemming from an increase um, expenses paid by the athletes. According to NCBC, a study in September 11, 2019, which proposes that schools should pay around 25 minimum, Meaning a uh, 25 grand minimum, <clears throat> leaving other school programs with lower funding like academic programs. Two, by paying athletes, it is implied that nothing is worth more than the sports that which they are playing. Meaning any other activities like performing arts and other arts are not as important as athletes uh, unless unless funded equally. My sub point two, <clears throat> by playing by paying athletes, um, by paying students athletes, you are increasing exp- um, expression to their um, expenses to the school and potentially harming other programs. My sub point three, <clears throat> students athletes uh, may have as well rounded, uh, may not have as well rounded education. Academies programs may lose fun, uh, funding and other lower and lower the value of education. Three fees will increase uh, other students, meaning potential increase in enrollment and four professors getting paid less, leaving some professors to go for more profitable value, true values.